Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Tracy Reed Designs and we are playing with Oldie But A Goodie, the Anywhere But Here collection. So when this layout goes up, I believe it will. this collection will be on sale if you want to grab it in Tracy's shop. I'll have the link in the description box below. It's a great time to uh, pick, up, pick up this really great uh, summer well, not summer, but travel collection in general, um, especially if you're planning to travel, I should say, this summer. So to start my layout, um, I did do a little work off camera. Um, I took two pattern papers, the floral and then this um, mint um, green or kind of turquoisey green um, pattern paper, and I created a triangle in this the, I know the inside piece is about eight and a half, like eight and a half this way. Um, so I created this triangle. I did go to my sewing machine off camera um, and I did sew around it. So I'm going to put that on my layout right about here. So um, basically my background is a piece of cardstock in that sort of green teal color and then a white cardstock that's going to act as my background. I've made that triangle, which is going to go right about here. This is a photo of my son <laughs> and he, we were out on a walk um, and he's, he used to always steal my sunglasses. So he's wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> so this is the photo that I'm going to scrapbook. Um, I'm going to use this piece of striped pattern paper as well as two scraps here to mat my photo. So it'll have three. Uh, this one won't go all the way around, but it'll have three um, pattern papers. Um, I have gone ahead and gotten my title. I'm going to use this word for that says cheeky, if you can see it. Cheeky. And then the other part of the title, which is going to be monkey. Um, will be with these navy letters. And then I have just some other bits and pieces. I have some ephemera pieces over here. I did use a little bit of glossy accents on some of the pieces. So um, those are going to come later. But what I'm going to do is show you sort of what I'm thinking um, I'm going to do for the background. So I have, I went through the collection and in the sticker sheets, and I think I want to say nearly everything. I, there are a few pieces in the ephemera um, that are from the digital collection, but um, most of this is from the sticker sheets. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these um, kind of postage stamp kind of looking elements, and I am going to layer them all up the side these will these will definitely well I won't say definitely but these will possibly change locations ever so slightly um, as I get going um, we'll see how that goes um, I have a feeling I might move a few of these around I'm not a hundred percent sure I just know that I want to place these something, something like this. So this one might go underneath there. We'll see, but it's going to lay out something like that. I might move these around ever so slightly, um, but my plan is to have those there. And then my photo is going to go right about here, I believe. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of embellishing. This layout is going to be super quick and super simple. Um, I just like the clean look of this. I'll probably add, I'm thinking, some white splatters, some white paint splatters uh, to this. Um, but that is how the background is gonna to come together. So I'm gonna go off camera, get this glued down, add my title, like I said. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go somewhere like up here, possibly once I get all of the mats around the photo. Um, so I'm gonna have that down when I come back and then we'll just work on the embellishment clusters. I think there'll only be two on this page, but we will see how it goes when I uh, turn the camera back on. 
Okay, it is time to finish up this layout. So I have down all of my t all of my little tickets or postage stamps, and then I have some embellishments. And as you can see, I already started putting them down on the page. So I'm going to have just a really tiny one down here, and I am going to use some of these puffy hearts. So I know I'm going to add one down here. So there'll be a heart with each embellishment cluster. And then, um, like I said, I'm using a combination of elements from the um, sticker and the um, from the sticker and the digital collection. So I'm, I have bits and pieces from both, and I'm just going to layer up these embellishments. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to layer them up on this. Uh, label that I have going here, but just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking, it's going to be something like this, I think, and that up there. So this will come down. I want, I'm not sure, maybe the glasses will be over here, but that's going to be an embellishment cluster there, and then same goes over here. I want to put this embellishment cluster here and of course I have the sunglasses since uh, that is what my son is wearing in the picture and then I am going to put like I said one of these silver hearts will go in each embellishment cluster I'm not going to glue them or tack them down completely yet because they're they're gonna go in those spots so I just need to rearrange my clusters um, and then I'm gonna add these enamel dots um, I'm gonna do that off camera and then just have the still photos but here is how the layout is going to come together I'm just gonna go like I said and glue this down put the arrange these up embellishments a little bit better in these clusters um, and yeah, still photos will be coming up. Don't forget to check the blog for other inspiration using the Anywhere But Here collection and see what everybody created. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.